All right, guys, we're moving on to the next section here. We're going to be looking at a dot plot, and I'd like you guys to be able to find the mean, median, mode, and the range simply just by looking at a dot plot. Of course, we can just take this dot plot and then write out the data and go from there. Or we can actually find the mean, median, mode, and range just by uh, plugging this stuff into our calculator, uh, so on and so forth. So let's uh, get our calculators and make sure those are cleared out and reset. All right, got our calculator here. Make sure we're resetting those. If you don't remember how, it's second, zero, and then we're going to choose option seven, then one, and then two. All right, I'm going to move this over here. Basically, I just want to take all this data to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Uh, well, what, from a dot plot, to read the data, basically this means we have one zero. We've got three ones here, so a one, a one, and a one. We've got four twos, two, 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 two. We've got two threes, a four, and a six. And that's basically our data. So we can actually take this data and uh, plug it into our calculator and have it calculate some stuff for us, or we can do it by hand. But before I do that, I just want to double check and make sure I pulled all my information correctly. I'm going to double check this. I got a zero here. I've got three ones. I've got four twos. One, two, three, four. I've got two threes. A four and a six. So just to double check my data grab there from the dot plot. All right, so now let's uh, use this data to find um, the mean, median, mode, and range. And remember the, to do this in our calculators. Hopefully you guys can see all my calculator here. We need to go into this list uh, function here. Hit that list of buttons so we can see all these lists. We're going to type into list one all of the data that we have here. So we got a zero, we're going to hit enter, uh, three ones, I uh, got four twos, one, two, three, and four. That would be four twos, yep, looks right. Got a couple of threes, a four, and a six. Now remember, your calculator does not know if you've typed this incorrectly or and wrong or whatever. So we're just going to double check our list here. I've double checked to make sure my data is right. Now I just got to go through my list here. So zero, we got one, 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 uh, two, 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 uh, two, uh, three, three, four, and six. It's always good to double and triple check this. Otherwise, I'm going to get some bad, some bad data. All right. After that, we are going to go into the stat option here. It's in yellow, so I have to hit second list to get into stats. We're going to go over to Calc, and we're going to run the one var stats. That's option one there. Just hit enter, and this automatically looks at list one. So just hit enter again. You notice uh, we talked about this in class a little bit. X bar is the mean. So the mean is looks like 2.25. Uh, the other thing that my calculator will tell me is the median. I'll also show you how to find the median here on the dot plot. But the median, if you scroll down, is right there. Uh, median is 2. The mode is actually really easy to see from the dot plot. The mode is going to be uh, 2 here. And then uh, lastly, the range is found by taking the max minus the min. We have a 6. And a zero. We can all see that here in my data. Six, zero. So this is going to be six minus zero, which is six. It also tells you the max and the min on your calculator. Six and zero. The range is found by subtracting those two. The big minus the small. Max minus the min. So that's how you do these, guys. Uh, I do want to show you how to find the median on the dot plot. Some people like to do it by hand. So let me show you how you do that. Change my pen up here. Uh, remember, the median is the middle data, and because I have a dot plot here, the dot plot already has the data in order. So I can start by crossing off the ones on the outside, and then start work working my way in. I'm going to start on my bottom over here, work my way up, and now I'm going to start at the top up here, though, So we're trying to come in toward the middle. Well, right here I can stop, actually, because the only numbers that are left are twos, right? Although I could come in here and scratch off a bottom and then a top. Now I'm left with two twos. Well, what's the median between two and two? Well, that's two. Two plus two is four divided by two. You can also see that here in my data. If I were to cross them off here, got three off both sides, four off both sides, five off both sides, I'm left with two numbers, 
That means the median is going to be 2 plus 2 divided by 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2, which is exactly what we got for the median. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, you can ask some questions. But I would like you guys to try this one now. What is the mean, median, mode, and range of this dot plot? Go ahead and pause the video and give this one a shot. Um, you might want to reset your calculator or just clear out your list before you type in this data. All right. Hopefully you guys cleared off calculators and tried this one out already. I'm going to bring up my calculator now. I'm just going to go ahead and reset this really quick. There is a way to clear just the list, but that way's faster. I'm going to go into my list and start entering my data. I've got three ones, so one, one, one. So I've got three ones, so that takes care of this one, uh, these ones right here. Get my pen out. Okay, that takes care of those ones. I've got two twos, two, two. And that takes care of this one and this one. I've got one, two, three, four, five threes. So one, two, three, four, and five. And just to make sure I typed in five, I've got one, two, three, four, five. And it's one, two, three, four, five. See, I'm double checking as I'm going. Makes things go a little bit smoother. I have a four. Just one four. I've got two fives. Take care of those. And then a six. Okay. Be a great idea to go back through and check that data. I'm pretty sure I'm right though because I double checked as I went. Then we're going to go into stats. So second, stat, over to calc, and run one bar stats on my list. It says that the x bar is three. Remember that x bar is the mean. All right, so we found the mean, uh, the median. Just scroll down here, find the median. The median is also 3. The mode, would you have a look at that? The mode is the one that appears the most in our data. Really easy to see in the dot plot. It's the tallest one there. Uh, so our mode is 3 also. The range is found by taking the max minus the min. The max is 6, the min is 1, so 6 minus 1 is 5. The range is 5. Guys, that's how it's done, okay? This is actually some pretty unique data where um, all three, the mean, the median, and, and the mode, are the same. Uh, and that happens sometimes. It's actually uh, pretty evenly spread data. It doesn't really look like it, but when all these three are the same, uh, that can always turn out to be a good thing. All right, so. Uh, go ahead and head on over back to the activity, and you're probably there already, uh, and complete the next problem there.